The Honourable Member for Transcona. Thank you again, Madam Speaker. On February 28th, I was honoured to present a proclamation on behalf of the Minister of Health declaring Rare Disease Day. I was honoured to attend because I have a rare disease. I have a potentially life-threatening rare disease. I have hereditary angioedema. Hereditary angioedema, or HAE, is a rare genetic disorder which affects approximately 1 in 50,000 people worldwide and about 700 here in Canada and is caused by a non-functioning protein called C1 esterase inhibitor which results in spontaneous recurring swelling in different areas of the body. These attacks can range from being uncomfortable with your hand or foot swelling to disfiguring when you get facial swelling. Attacks of the intestinal tract, which are the ones I experience most often, can result in extreme abdominal pain, vomiting and complete debilitation. At its most severe, swelling can occur in the throat, which without medical treatment can end tragically. Today is HAE Day, and I am rising today to help create awareness for this health concern, which my family simply refers to as our sickness. For an entire life, I thought I was only my family and some of my cousins. But over the past few years, with new advocacy groups and organizations, I realize I have a connection with people who have experienced this reviled illness. It continues to affect my life. At 5 a.m. on April 20th of this year, I awoke to the uncomfortable sensation of choking. My throat was swelling. But thanks to new medications developed over the past few years by companies like Shire and CSL Bearing, the feeling of panic was pushed aside as I woke my wife Amy, who was able to begin my treatment. And within moments, the swelling was beginning to subside. By raising awareness of HAE among the general public and the medical community, we hope to create an environment in which there is better care, earlier and more accurate diagnosis, and knowledge that HAE patients can lead a healthy, normal life. Thank you to HAE Canada, Dr. Richard Warrington and Dr. Christina Kalasinski for their care and advocacy for us in Manitoba and beyond in managing this disease. Thank you, Madam Speaker.